Welcome to the presentation of AccuRental, one software to manage all your needs powered by Acumatica, the fastest growing cloud ERP system for six years and running. So a one page on Acumatica. Acumatica is a leader in the Nucleus Research Technology Value Matrix for SMB ERP chart for 2022. Acumatica ranks very high for usability and better functionality, which results in Acumatica being in the leader quadrant. Acumatica has office internationally, its global headquarters in Seattle, Washington. Acumatica is 100% browser-based. You can access it from any device. It gives you the ability to use the software unlimited number of users. AccuRental is built inside Acumatica Cloud ERP. It's one system, one business management platform. No uploading, no downloading, no integration with different systems. As I mentioned, Acumatica is the fastest growing cloud ERP system for six years running. Now, AccuRental. AccuRental is a rental solution that streamlines all the aspects of your business operation, from sales, rentals, service, and consumables to CRM and financials. It lets you create a rental contract. It will track your rental inventory, what's in the yard, what's shipped out to customers, how many you have in stock. It will track time based availability what you will have next month or later this week. AccuRental works with all Acumatica modules, from crewing, time card entry, to project management, job costing to CRM opportunities, fixed asset, point of sale, and customer portal. You decide which modules you need based on your requirements. As far as rental functionality, we let you define your billing period. The billing period could be a day, a week, a month, an hour, four hours, two hours, it could be meter-based. You can invoice your customers up front upon return, periodically if you do jobs. You can invoice based on projects percent completed or TNM marking up the entered or based on schedule. AccuRental has nice dashboards. Existing dashboards will show your product availability and what is committed to orders. It will show you all the orders that are scheduled to ship or come back within the entered date range, whether it's tomorrow or next week. We'll track the missing and damaged sub-rentals. We let you create rental contracts from opportunities, from point of sale, from project, or from field service orders in case when a tech goes out and realizes he needs to rent a piece of gear while repairing a broken equipment. AccuRental will manage your equipment, the make model, the purchase date. It will track the rental ROI so you can see how much revenue you've generated, what expenses you've incurred, AccuRental will let you define for each piece of equipment. What are the QC functions that need to be performed? What are the scheduled services? Allows you to create a checklist to use on workstation or on your mobile devices. So this is a view of how transaction could be processed. You can start from an opportunity. From opportunity, you can create sales quotations. One or many as part of sales quotation define the billing rules. Once approved, right from there, you could create a sales order, which contains the sales rental crew information. Right from there, you can create your project, your job, your schedule, your technicians. You'll see in the coming pages. And as you're scheduling your technician and lets you define skill requirement, licensing, you will check territory and availability. If you need to produce the product, it lets you manage your production. You can create a work order right from manufacturing work order right from the sales order. And you can do, of course, your sub rentals or both for a crew if you have to sub some work out. So all of that rolls into the project as you complete the work. You pick up the project, stage them using WMS handheld devices and so forth. Load your WMS system. From there, you can make your delivery. In the field, you can do your time card collection, inventory tracking, and of course, you generate an invoice. Now we also give you the ability if you want to go from the opportunity directly projects and create project tasks. And from there, get the customer approval, create the sales order, and create other crew and production orders from that point on. A project costing, job costing is very important part of AccuRental. As you can see in this red bordered area, you'll have visibility over all project transactions. Basically, all transactions roll up to the project, from time cards and expenses to purchase orders and commitments when created. 
later as expenses when accounts payable invoice is recognized. General Ledger, AR invoices. As I mentioned, AccuRental is one system to manage all of your operations. So here we're seeing a screen for the opportunities. Opportunities let you track their stages, presentation, discovery, final closing. You can manage all of your activities, creating emails, managing phone calls, follow-up, what's the status of these call, what's the possibility that you'll close. It's integrated with your emails or emails going out, and coming in it will be tracked as part of these opportunities. From here you can create from the opportunities. You can load the items. You can load the items from Excel, from a template order, or just from inventory. Load the items that need to be part of that. If you have a CAD system, you know what parts are going to be used for that. You can load it from here. So basically, Opportunity ends up having all the items. And from there, you can create a quotation. You can create multiple quotations with Acumatica Management Revision. So if you have one quotation, when the customer calls back and asks for some changes, you can create it for another quotation. And when one of the quotations is approved, you could create a sales order. So a sales order gets created. Now that you can start this process from the sales order program, if you're not using opportunities, sales orders have an option for quotation, then gets converted to a sales order. Note that from the sales order, you could create a project. Projects are created based on projects templates defined. Project templates can literally define all the different phases and tasks. So a project template defined could have audio, design, labor, production, rental tasks, and you can, as I mentioned, generate invoices based on completed percent of the task. Or you can invoice from the sales orders as you ship product, or from service orders as the crew completes their work. As far as labor, you can bill based on labor charges entered on the sales order, or based on crew entries made on the service appointment or on time card entries. Actual labor time entries can be billed as entered or get invoice from projects using a markup percentages entered or just get tracked as expenses and projects for projects invoiced based on project completion. Projects show you profitability of the project using revenue expense. These are all user-defined as to how detailed you want to get. It will show you the original budget revenue and expense. It will show you the change orders. It will track actuals. It will let you view all the transactions. This is how you load items into the rental orders. You can define packages here. You are looking at a small package for a meeting room, and basically system loads all these items based on the package selected at some point options where you want to have two speakers or four speakers, one microphone, four microphones. It will load and create the order for you. The scheduling of the working crew is done right from the sales order when you click on Crew Service Appointment. It brings up all the lines that you set up for requiring scheduling. When you click on ads that will show you which employees have the needed skills and licensing requirements and are available, so you select them. It loads them from here, and right from here you create the appointments for these technicians where they get text notifications on their cell phone and or their email. They can cancel it or they can approve it and be scheduled to go out to do the work. If you're doing any production work right from sales order, you can create the production work orders using defined routing steps and the kits that you define and those manufacturing work orders when completed would be costed properly in the project and get shipped to the customer. Projection overheads are all managed, both as part of projects and manufacturing work order. When manufacturing products, Users can scan components and labor start and end time into the order using production and dashboard for rentals so you can view what items are in production, on rent, what orders are shipped, what orders are returning at any time. In AccuRental, you also have dashboards for project manager and a project consultants. A manager could see what are the late projects, what are unbilled employee times, and the consultant can see what their assigned tasks to them so they can decide whether to work on them or mark them complete. Purchase orders are generated from service orders, rental orders, or from manufacturing transaction. And all the created purchase orders are linked to the project initially as commitments and then as expense. Timesheets can be entered on cell phone. This happens to be a cell phone view for a user entry 
or an entry by the manager. Entries can be made by day or week and can be loaded into Acumatica's payroll. Hours are loaded into the project at cost, could be invoice T&M as marking it up or could be tracked as expenses and invoices could be generated from sales order or project module. This is how you define your bill codes. Bill code can represent as in so many days, one week, one month, but you can do fancier things. You can say from day one, two, three, we are charging daily from four to seven. We're charging weekly and anything past that just follow this. And you could have meter-based billing and then bill code include unlimited meter using or up to a certain number. And after that, you can have the system invoicing. Sales orders, you could post the cost to GL. For getting the rentals to go out, you have to incur some cost and you want to put some cost or you just want to put some costs. You can do that. You could post rentals to the project as a cost. If you have multiple companies, you want to show that as a cost in the project, and they can decide whether you want to post to GL or only to the project. Rental availability is managed at any time for an item you see. For any dates when availabilities change, just in case if you entered in a rental or a few weeks earlier and you want to see what's available, now here's some screens to show you information for the specific unit. You can assign colors to statuses and inspection on rent. In stock, you can create views just to show those. And when you click on it, it will show you every time the product goes on rent or comes back when you perform an inspection. Basically, you can take a picture, enter notes, system will show you all the invoices that you've generated. All the invoicing is managed. You can create automated jobs to auto-generate invoices. You can also can come to this program and have the program generate an invoice for it. Program checks if rental order was set up for upfront billing upon return or periodic for which it will check when an invoice was generated and create an invoice if needed. Users can return one or multiple rental contracts on one rental return document. As I mentioned, when we have the ability by item to find what inspections need to be performed, so we'll come to that. Tracking of missing and damaged during rental return, you can flag item if something is missing or damaged. AccuRental lets you give a grace period to the customer to do good. If your customer doesn't take care of the issue, then you can invoice them. Inspections are set up by functions in Acumatica, rental return, rental shipment, kit assembly, field service. You specifically what specific QC functions you want to perform. This could be just an item level. They inspect it visually, or you can ask the employees to check specific tests, lift or hoses or load tests. And you can enter whether or not approval is required by a supervisor. So this is all managed as you're doing your rental return or a rental shipment. Scheduled services so you can define by piece of equipment. You can also define with scheduled services, preventative maintenance tasks you need to perform annually, monthly based on usage, or many days. And when parts are suggested, they use notes and attachments. And I'll link to it. Inspections could be done as cell phones or devices, or could be done in a tablet, and are connected directly to the Acumatica. And these are the details or just an item level inspections. Earned rental revenue at any time will show you for a given item, for an item class, for a customer. Rental revenue you generated last month, last year, January to December, share visibility over that, equipment ROI. So basically we'll show you every piece of equipment, what you paid for it, what are the expenses you've incurred for it, what's the revenue and the net, and you can click on and see these expenses engine related or AP expenses year to date, last year, month by month. As I mentioned, we track all of this information for you. From customer portal, we let your customers access it at the rental contract in the system. And of course, we have a yard operation point of sale. We let you enter items in the point of sale transaction, use a credit card, print a credit card receipt, mark what needs to be delivered, what would get picked up by the customer, and we'll manage all the rental for your registers. The open close. So this is the end of the presentation. Please reach out to us if you'd like to see an actual demonstration of the product. Thank you.